Hi everybody, this is Anne Emery with Excel for Evaluation. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert a chart. So let's pretend that we're working with data that looks like this. This is demographic data showing how many people were served by a program. Now this is a lot of data, so you're going to want to highlight your key findings and your key patterns in a chart or a graph. So before you can insert a chart, you need to organize your data a little bit. It needs to look something like this. So in this example, I want to show how many males and how many females were served. So I have my genders right here in column A, and then I have the number of participants right here in column B. So to insert the chart, just select almost the entire table, everything except the total. Go to Insert, and we have several options to choose from. Let's try a column chart. A column chart is probably the best go-to chart if you're not sure which one to use. Ignore all the 3D options, just stick with the 2D one. We're going to use this one. It's called a clustered column chart. Just click on it, and there's your first chart. Let's just move it out of the way. Okay, let's try it one more time. So we're going to select almost the entire data table, everything except the total. Go up to Insert, and let's insert a bar chart. So again, ignore the 3D options and just click on the first one right here, 2D clustered bar chart. Click on it and there's your bar chart. So the default settings in Excel are a little bit outdated. So in future videos, I'm going to show you how to clean up these charts to really highlight your data. So there you have it. That's how to insert a chart. Thank you very much.